So today we have a new update in Red Dead Online and as many of us expected it is once again for the 5th time in a row another event month. So even though Rockstar did release GTA 5 next gen it seems like Rockstar really still does not care as much for Red Dead Online so it seems that we may be having these Red Dead Online event months for longer. To me it's really crazy the fact that it's almost about to be 6 months half a year since Rockstar has been doing these event months and the fact that it's been almost one year since the last Red Dead Online DLC and there still hasn't been any Steam database updates or no leaks or information about the upcoming DLC. Honestly, I hope the best for this game and hopefully we can see a DLC soon. So let's get into the event month updates for April. So it's going to be starting today on April 5th and ending on May 22nd. Before we even get into it, I'm going to say this month really isn't that good in Red Dead Online and that in my opinion, last month was actually way better. So this month we have triple money and XP on the hardcore telegram missions and these missions released a couple months ago and it's not going to really pay you that much money, probably somewhere around like 50 to $70 when it comes to this bonus. So really not the best payouts. If you do wait a little bit longer, you will of course get more money and xp but at the end of the day it's not going to be the best way to make money in red dead online this month we also have double money xp and gold on call to arms now call to arms is probably one of the most fun ways to make money in red dead online and you can actually get a decent amount of money gold and xp from this so if you want to get those bonuses then check them out there's also double money and xp on blood money opportunities as of right now we only have a total of three which is going to be covered to emerald ember of the east and el serrano so if you do complete one of these opportunities you're probably going to get around maybe like 200 dollars for doing them depending on how long you do wait and it also does depend on which difficulty you do choose if you want to get the most payouts then go with the ruthless difficulty mode of course it is more enemies and a bit more difficult but it's definitely going to be worth it and if you complete any opportunity to speak you'll get 96 rounds of high velocity revolver ammo Thanks Rockstar. Moving on we have the sort of calendar for the month and just by taking a look at it you can see that these rewards really aren't that good. So this week if you complete a one horse steel mission you'll get 50% off a stable slots. Next week if you complete reach pickings you'll get a treasure map at the Kowloon Ravine. And then April 19th through the 24th you'll get a reward for 30% off the hunting wagon if you complete Outrider. And for April 26th through May 2nd, if you complete any source of employment telegram mission, you'll get the rare blue pattern bandana. So last month obviously was way better with a bunch of gold bonuses. Honestly, I would say next week is probably the best when it comes to, you know, the reward. You know, obviously you get a free treasure map. So we'll talk more about that next week. But for, as for the other ones, they aren't really that good. And then they say that if you complete a source of employment telegram mission, you'll receive 48 rounds of express rifle ammo, which I would say is a pretty garbage reward. Ammo is not even that expensive to begin with in Red Dead Online and wasting your time every single you know week to do like one mission I feel like the reward should have been way better like last month it was like what like two gold bars or something like this like this month it's just it's just terrible with these rewards but anyways moving on to something more interesting we have a free community outfit which is made by the youtuber dare to game so if you do want to you can pick up the brown Kaluga hat the brown bandana the burgundy laser vest the green everyday shirts the brown urban gloves the brown gunslinger gun belts the blue studded pants the brown bat wing chaps the brown wooded warper boots the green wooden sweller for male and the floors vest for females all for free this month and you can make this amazing outfit now there is also a free fishing rod and bow for people that make it to rank 10 this week or are already rank 10. So most people probably already have the bow and fishing rod. Obviously these can be really useful when it comes to hunting of course. So if you don't already have them then definitely get them this month if you aren't already ranked 10. And then as for the feature series this month, once again it's going to be giving out triple money and XP. And from April 5th through 11th we have the Elimination Series Hardcore. Next week we have the Overon Hardcore. April 19th through April 25th, we have the Takeover Series Hardcore. And then the last week, which is April 26th through May 2nd, it is going to be the Shootout Series Hardcore. This month also, if you do complete a seven day challenge in one week, you will receive the Rare Green Pattern Bandana. And also this month, if you complete any mission, Telegram or otherwise with a persistent posse, you'll get five rewards for free fast travel. And also the fee for setting up a persistent posse is also free this month. We also have have some limited time items that have returned so first off we have the pattern bandana blue the pattern bandana green the ever hurts coats the full wealth hats and the control pants 
And then as for discounts, there is going to be 30% off outfits and traps, 30% off roll outfits, 30% off race horses and revolvers, 50% off rifle ammo, and 50% off tomahawks. So really not the best when it comes to discounts, but if you want to check it out, they are of course available. And then for Prime Gaming, if you do sign up before May 4th, you will receive a reward for a free pair of select boots and 50% off an elephant rifle, and also a reward of the amazing 25 Capitale. But that's all for this month. Don't read that online. Of course, every week I'll be sure to update you guys when you know some new changes do happen. But if you did enjoy this video though, make sure to drop a like and let me know your thoughts on this event month for April and read that online in the comment section below. And if you want to see more Red Dead Online content, including much more Rockstar Games content here on the channel, then make sure to be subscribed and have a post notifications. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.